No. I mean, I've been trying to I've been trying to compete against Andre since 2016, and he's declined every match ever offered to him. Uh, and then uh, Angelica was actually sticking up for him one time on Facebook when I was like, just got my black belt. I, I never won trials or anything. I never competed at ADCC. It was like when I was winning the EBIs. And Angelica's like, if you want to face Andre, you should win the absolute and then you'll get a chance to face him. And then I won the absolute and I was like, oh man, that really backfired because now he actually has to show up. Uh, so he's in kind of a tough spot. If he shows up, he's going to get submitted. If he doesn't show up, then everyone's going to think he's a loser and he's afraid. Uh, so it's going to be a... Uh, it's going to be a tough year for Andre. It's, it was last year was already tough, uh, but this year is going to be worse. Back and forth. Um, just wondering, how do you kind of personally feel about Andre right now these days? Uh, well, he's just a pussy. I think everyone thinks he's just a pussy. Uh, <laughs> I'm not mad. Like Andre's like upset. I'm not mad. This is all like fun for me. Uh, but uh, Andre is like the perfect example of like how to ruin your entire 30-year legacy in like span of three weeks. He's just Every decision he makes, it just keeps getting worse and worse. Like, he, he think he couldn't get it, make it worse after he got smacked. After he initiated a fight, got smacked, and then backed down. You're like, oh, there's no way he can make it worse. So then he goes out and, like, issues an apolo like a half-ass apology and just uses it to promote his autos online with the sale. Like, it's just whoever, whoever is, uh, is, like, managing that guy, he, like, he just needs to get somebody. Like, like it's just insane, like, how he just, he, every time he opens his mouth, he looks, like, dumber and dumber. Well, now it's a mistake either way. What he should have done is he should have just said, you know, listen, I said I was going to retire. I'm out. I understand that everyone wants to see this match, but, you know, this is, you know, the new generation is coming. I think it's my time. I, I, I stated I was going to retire, and that's what I'm going to do. And I think everybody would have respected that. But now, if he doesn't come, then he's going to look, he's, everyone's going to, just going to think he's a pussy. Uh, even if he gets injured, or says he gets injured, I still don't think half the people are going to believe him. Um, so it's going, to, it's going to be tough for him. And if he does show up, he's going to get crushed. So either way, he's going to lose. What he should have done is just, I was super nice. I was respectful. I wasn't talking shit. He should have accepted that he's going to retire, and he should have hung it up. Like, that's a problem with a lot of these guys is they don't know when to quit. Um, and Andre definitely should have quit. He was, he was ahead. He was six-time champion, all-time ADCC great. And uh, he, just, he just fucked it up. I thought it was going to be pretty standard. I thought that uh, it was pretty much how I thought it was going to go. Uh, I didn't expect Felipe to break mentally that fast and get exhausted like he did, probably because he was partying in Mykonos like two weeks before he had to go to ADCC, so that was probably a big part of it because he's an unprofessional shitbag. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I thought that if Felipe could get his back, I thought he would probably going to at least hold him, maybe, maybe finish him. Uh, but, you know, Andre just wasn't having it. Andre... Andre has a good sense of knowing when he's going to be outpaced, outpaced technically. <clears throat> and uh, if he feels like he can beat the guy with jiu-jitsu, he'll do jiu-jitsu with him. But he feels like if the guy is better jiu-jitsu, then he'll play a wrestling game. So he does jiu-jitsu against wrestlers, and he does wrestling against jiu-jitsu uh, guys, which is, uh, which is smart tactically on his, on his part. Um, he knows how to win. Uh, he's very experienced in this rule set, and uh, he's, uh, he's a physical specimen. So... The second I started seeing Felipe get tired and he didn't really have any answer for Andre's standing position, I knew that it was going to be, it was going to be a rough night for, for Felipe. And then, you know, as you were kind of uh, analyzing Andre, were you kind of fantasizing about, about being there, being in the super fight and, and beating him? Yeah, I mean, he's, uh, he's not really impressive anywhere besides the fact that he has good cardio. He, he keeps going and that's really about it is Jutsu's not great. He has a he has a really good quality of movement. He moves his body well. He can, you know, he can move fast in and out. He can move fast side to side. He can invert. He can do all the stuff that you that you need. Um, but technically, in the standing position, he doesn't look great. His hand fighting is not great. His shots are okay, not great. His submission wrestling is terrible. He basically has no submissions of any kind. Uh, guard isn't great. Passing is atrocious. He's mediocre everywhere besides the fact that he's tactically good, physically intimidating for most people, uh, and that's pretty much about it. How do you think the match goes between the two of you? Have you, have you visualized 
what goes down in a match between you and Andre? Uh, yeah, I think Andre, Andre has a pretty good self-awareness. He knows that he's very outpaced technically on the ground. He knows that if he engages and actually tries to do jiu-jitsu with me, he's going to get crushed. Okay? And I think pretty much everyone, regardless of whether or not they hate me, they can look at both of our tapes objectively and say that Andre, in a jiu-jitsu match, trying to do jiu-jitsu cannot compete with Gordon. Um, that being said, ADCC is more about uh, is, is more than just who has better jiu-jitsu. Sometimes the guy who has better jiu-jitsu doesn't always win. Okay, um, so Andre, his whole game is going to be to keep it in the standing position as long as possible to give an illusion of engagement where it looks like he's engaging, where he maybe picks up a single leg and then puts it down, or he shoots a double and he gets me off balance and then he backs away. Um, keep it in the standing position as long as possible. Be defensively sound as possible so that in the judge's eyes, it doesn't look like I'm beating him in the standing position and use opportunistic attempts at takedowns to score in the judge's eyes, even if he doesn't score points and win like some kind of shitty decision or something like that. Um, so that's, that's Andre's key to victory. My key to victory is to make him do jiu-jitsu with me so I can submit him. Well, he's not coming back. He's going to say he's going to come back, and then he's going to pull out. But um, I think he's going to say he's going to come back, and then as we get close to the fight, he's going to build up publicity and try to do another 50% off sale for uh, Autos HQ. And then uh, he's going to pull out last minute. They're going to put in you know, probably Bouchesha or someone, or Bouchesha or Pena. I assume Bouchesha because you can't have a guy who looked as pathetic as Felipe go back to the super fight after he lost like that. Um, so I'm assuming it's going to be Bouchesha. Uh, and then Andre's going to be there in the crowd where he belongs. And last one, uh, uh, we can kind of move on a little bit from Andre, but uh, just wanted to see if you, you wanted to say anything to Andre uh, before, before this match and give you, give you an opportunity. I think we both know that it would all be best served if you just stayed at home, in the retirement home, watch me compete against whoever they put, and then just sail off into the sunset, pretend like the whole previous 12 months never happened, and do your best to rebuild your brand from there. That's, I think, everyone knows. I mean, it's, it's, it's embarrassing to begin with that Mo and ADCC is actually making me show up to this event. Like, I have to go out of my way to go to Vegas to kick the shit out of you and the rest of these losers. But listen. We both know it's best if you just stay home, do your thing, maybe come to watch Kynan get heel hooked again, and call it a day. That's, that's all we need.